When was the last time you did a sales pitch to a prospect and they told you, let me compare with other products and get back to you? Or well, your products seem to be good, but I think there might be a better price somewhere else. Or I think ABC investment gives me better returns than insurance. What do they really mean when they say something like that? And what exactly are they looking for? Actually, I've done this objection video like in the past, but I think there was not enough to cover this topic completely. That's why today, I want to dive deeper to help you better understand the thought process behind handling these objections. So without further ado, let's get today's lesson started. Here is what we will be learning today. We will start off with understanding why clients say they want to compare and what they often like to compare to. Next, we will learn the three approaches I would use to handle such an objection. Now, they are, approach number one is, you never choose the medicine, you choose the doctor. Approach number two is, the fruit salad cannot be made with one fruit. It has to have multiple fruits. Approach number three is, I'm the one that can give you the results you're looking for. Sounds good? Let's get started off with understanding the mindset clients have when they say, I want to compare. According to some studies on consumer behavior, the reason people compare before making a purchase decision is because they want to find out which product or service is going to give them the best chance of getting the best results. So how does this relate to the insurance profession? Well, usually when a client says, I want to compare, there are five reasons. Reason number one, they just want to use it as an excuse to not buy from you because you didn't make it clear enough for them to understand why they need to buy insurance. Reason number two is, they want to compare because they think that they'll get a better price somewhere else. Reason number three, there is so much information online nowadays and they think they can find the best option themselves. Reason number four, they misunderstand the nature of insurance and other investments. So they end up comparing apples to oranges rather than comparing apples to apples. Reason number five, they want to find the best advisor and you didn't show them that you are the one. Now, as we are clearer on why clients say they want to compare, the next step is to know how to take advantage of these insights and make a twist. Let's take a look at what kind of approach I would use for these different reasons. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications to get the latest video updates so I can share more tips and strategies with you to increase your overall sales. Reason 1. They want to use it as an excuse to not buy from you because you didn't make it clear enough for them to understand why they need to buy insurance. For this group of clients or prospects, your role as an advisor is to help your clients see a new perspective of why they need insurance in the first place. Depending on the type of clients or prospects that you're working with, you can use my insurance concept presentations to help them understand the concept, which is what insurance does rather than focusing on the products. Once they get the why clear, everything else will become easier. You can check out my insurance concept presentation playlist here to see how I use concepts to sell insurance. I'll get my team to add the link to the description or you can click the bell icon on top right of this video to find the link. For reason number two and three, you need to understand that people tend to spend more time comparing when it comes to more expensive products and services. So your role as an advisor is to make them understand that it is a very competitive era where most of the insurance companies will have the same product policies and prices. The most important thing that people forget is choosing the right financial advisor. Once you have chosen the advisor, you just need to follow the pattern and guidelines they provide you. It's as simple as that. To help you get a better visualization, let's take a look at the first approach that I use when it comes to this group of clients. Another very common objection that I get is, Sanjay, your company's plan is not as good as the other plans, or I want to compare your plan to other companies. Well, Mr. Client, I understand where you're coming from, is you want to make sure that you're buying the right product. You see, the problem is, Mr. Client, that you actually don't choose the product. When you go to a pharmacy, how many medicines do you see? There are thousands of medicines. How do you know which one to buy? You see, you never choose the medicine, you choose the doctor. The doctor will prescribe your medication and that medication is what you should follow. So that treatment plan is what you should follow. You should never be buying medicine, you should be choosing your doctor. 
if you were not buying, if you felt my plan was not as good as another company's plan, why did you not already buy from them? What are you waiting for? You see, one of the most important things that people forget is choosing the right financial advisor. Once you've chosen the advisor, you just follow the pattern and the follow the guidelines that they provide you. It's as simple as that. It's not about the product. It's about the advisor. Mr. Client, you need to choose your advisor. The third most common objection that I'm expecting is, uh, Sanjay, I'm sure there's a cheaper version somewhere else. Yeah, I want to compare products. Mr. Klein, I absolutely understand that you want to understand the comparisons. Acknowledge it. But let me ask you a question. Did you know that almost all the insurance companies are the same? You know, we live in the 21st century, very competitive. Everyone knows what everyone is doing. All of us have exactly the same product. Few changes. But the question that you have to answer is, the difference would be 5 to 10%. The question that you have to answer is, who do you want as your advisor? You see, every client that I work with only asks one thing. What do you want me to compare? The products are the same. You die, I pay. You fall sick, I pay. You retire, I pay. Your kids go to college, I pay. These are the only four products that every insurance company has. The only question you have to answer, who do you want as your financial advisor? Quick update, if you are interested in learning the prospecting strategies that have been used by me and many top advisors in the industry, click on the link below. I'll see you in the masterclass. For reason number four, it's something that belongs to clients' awareness. A lot of people assume that the way insurance works is same as other investments. So they will always end up comparing insurance with other investments that they're doing or planning to do. Your job right now is to explain to them how a good financial plan looks like. Think of it like a fruit salad. It cannot be made with one fruit. It has to have multiple fruits. Insurance, investments, properties, bank accounts are all the different fruits under the financial umbrella. Take a look at the second approach that I use when it comes to this group of clients and prospects. The other common objection that I've been getting a lot of is I want to compare with other investments, right? So uh, they will be either comparing you with equities. So uh, you know, unit trusts, equities, stock market, bond portfolios, properties. Uh, that's what they are comparing you to. Fixed deposits, right? Mr. Client, you're absolutely correct, right? I mean, when you're doing investments, you want to make sure that you have a diversified portfolio. Property is one part of your portfolio. Equity is another part of your portfolio. Bonds is another part of your portfolio. Fixed deposit is another part of your portfolio. Cash is another part of your portfolio. All these are different assets in your portfolio. But you cannot compare your property to an equity. You cannot compare equity to bonds. You can't compare bonds to a fixed deposit. You can't compare fixed deposit to gold or gold or diamonds or oil, right? They're all different types of assets because they all are different types of fruits. You can't compare an apple to a banana. You can't compare a banana to a pineapple. You can't compare a pineapple to an orange. They're all different fruits. They are called fruits, but they're all different fruits. Together, they create the perfect fruit salad. You cannot have fruit salad only of apple. You can't have fruit salad only of banana, but you can combine all these fruits and get the perfect fruit salad. And that is the purpose of a retirement plan or an annuity or an insurance. It's a different flavor. Most people don't have that flavor in their portfolio. So if you don't have all these assets in your portfolio, all these investments in your portfolio, you don't have the right flavor. That is the problem. You're comparing apples to oranges, to bananas, to pineapples, to grapes. You have to have all of them in your portfolio. Now, 99% of a portfolio can be in properties, real uh, businesses, equities. I'm only asking you to divert 1% to insurance every year. Just transfer 1% to insurance and I protect the portfolio. That's my job. You can't compare insurance with any other investment because insurance does, does something that no other investment does. You see, insurance creates money that doesn't even exist. Think about it. I'm protecting 10 years of your annual income. Money that you have still not earned. You've not even got that money. I'm protecting your future income today. Money that you have not earned yet. That's my job. I create money that doesn't even exist. 
and how much am i asking you to give me i'm asking you to give me 1% towards your insurance 1% if you need me to create $100,000 1% if you want me to create a million dollars 1% that's all i'm asking you a lot of people think insurance is expensive it's only going to cost you 1% of whatever you want me to create if you have a portfolio that is worth a million dollars i buy a million dollars of insurance at 1% so if your portfolio is growing at 5 or 6% great give me 1% i create exactly that to protect you because we all know cash is king assets are very good but cash is king and my only job is to create cash another common objection that i have heard um, from adv- from financial advisors is uh, sanjay clients tell me that the return on my products is not attractive guys let's just follow the uoc right you first got to acknowledge it that mr client i understand that you're comparing returns but you're comparing the returns to what are you comparing it to a different asset then there's a problem because you see every asset class has their own return and risk standard a property cannot be compared to a business a business cannot be compared to a fixed deposit a fixed deposit cannot be compared to commodities or gold gold and commodities cannot be compared to uh, cash deposits right you cannot compare them to each other because each one of these assets has their own uniqueness they would either be providing you certain level of security or they would be providing you certain level of income streams and that's the same thing with an insurance product an insurance product has a different purpose and the purpose is to provide you security and create money that actually doesn't exist yet because it's always an income protection tool we always protecting income using insurance um and that's what we need to understand is giving that example so mr client what i'm doing for you is protecting your income and that's what life insurance does if the product is a retirement planning product then it's exactly the op- the other side where mr client you want to build an income stream that comes to you when you retire so it's about making sure that the product is understandable to your client make it relatable to them it's very important that make it relatable to them you cannot compare one asset to another asset they all have their own pros and cons properties investments bonds commodities fixed deposits businesses these are all different types of assets and all these assets have different risk and return profiles if you can get that clarified in your solution and example section you've got it all cleared so it's attractive compared to what and that's what you have to answer reason number 5 they want to find the best advisor and you didn't show them that you are the one this often happens after you finish your presentation or sales pitch if you want to stop your clients or prospects from comparing you with other advisors you need to give them overwhelming proof that you will give them the results they are after let's take a look at the third approach you can use to handle such an objection this approach is broken down in three steps step number 1 before the meeting do a survey to find out why your previous current clients chose you step number 2 prepare a comparison for your prospects before they even start doing it step number 3 provide more proof of how you have helped other people with their financial planning the most obvious way is to use case studies and testimonials provide reviews by previous clients who explain their great experience with your service these stories can work because people like to do what others are doing be sure to furnish at least four or five reviews to increase the chances that potential clients will see someone they can relate to in the, in one of them step number 4 if you feel like your clients or prospects are convinced of your ability so far you can start transiting to your closing but if they still hesitate and tell you something like thank you but let me think about it and we'll get back to you you can use the free look period option to close them take a look at this video where i show you how i do it uh another very common objection that we get is sanjay i will think about it and let you know mr client i absolutely understand i mean this is a life this is a very important commitment and you want to think about it i get that but let me ask you a question would you like it if i gave you free insurance while you think about it because you see every time that i work with a family right um 
they always want to think about it. and i want to make sure that they have enough time to think about it so i'm in no rush i'm not here to push you anything but i can definitely give you free insurance while you're thinking about it. and we have something called a free look period my company allows that for 3 weeks i could give you a free look period 2 weeks depending on which country you're from some countries offer one or four weeks so depending which country you're from you have a free look period on your contract mr client i'll give you a free look period so that you've got time to think about it and tell me yes or no take your time think about it that's all right i'm giving you free insurance i hope this video has provided you better clarity on how to handle it when your clients say they want to compare if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and leave a comment in the comment section below telling me i love this video so my team and i can be motivated to produce more awesome content for you remember our role as a financial advisor is to keep good advice on investments and insurance and make sure that everyone around us is well protected keep helping people with all your heart and one day when people understand how important you are they will always buy from you even without comparing this is dr sanjay tolani together let's make financial planning easier and happier for everyone